freshness of the new day as it dawns. And when I record at night, there's something different about the cool of the day that just seems to make me think, make me feel, make me alive to the realization that just at that moment before sundown, God walks through the earth. Now, some people may argue with that. They may say, oh, no, he doesn't. God doesn't walk. He's God. <laughs> well, Jesus did. But we're told in Genesis when Adam was in the garden. And this might have been before Eve, so don't be surprised. But God walked with Adam in the cool of the day. We have no idea how long it was, or how short, but we know this. God communed with Adam, and Adam communed with God. And we have an example of that by what Jesus said of himself when he spent time with his Father, and he looked to heaven and only did those things that he saw his Father doing. We have that same chance and opportunity to do those things that Jesus did, to live that way that Jesus lived. Scary as it may sound at first to know the Father as intimately as Jesus does. And for me, at the end of my day, in the cool of the day, is when I feel really close to God my Father. And in the beginning of the day, I feel close to Jesus, you know, and all through the day, I feel close to His Spirit, so. <laughs> Morning, noon, and night, I guess you could say, God's got me covered. In God Calling, as God speaks to us, Guardian Angels, you are mine. Once I have set on you my stamp and seal of ownership, all my hosts throng to serve and to protect you. Remember that you are sons and daughters of a king. Try to picture a bodyguard of my servitors in the unseen waiting, longing, efficient to do all that is necessary for your well-being. They literally are waiting to help. As an ant goes walking, across you may have seen that as this is recording i just watched an ant go across there so i don't know what it's going to do but like i said with devotionals what it is is what we record <laughs> feel this as you go through the day and feel this that all is well and see the reality of your circumstances like an ant walking on the camera like oh i don't know when the hummingbird comes by and speaks when the uh, heat of the day sometimes is overpowering or when the cool of the day is gives you a quick chill or when God steps by and gives you a quick thrill. Whatever it is, in emotional we want to share it in reality of our mutual existence with God. Because God is here. God is in you and he's in me. He's as real as my flesh and blood that I touch every day and I can see. And I don't have to imagine God being here. <laughs> this chair looks empty, but I can tell you it's full of glory. And so, someday, if you hear a knock at your door, don't be surprised if you open it and it's not somebody trying to witness to you. But it might be Jesus standing there, wanting to help you, to build you, to comfort you, maybe to strengthen you, or maybe just maybe they'll knock at your door and want to take you home. Wouldn't that be something? That's my kind of devotion. Going home.